The Cowboys and Broncos are meeting Sunday for only the 13th time ever, and the Cowboys were on their way to a Super Bowl title the last time they won in Denver 1992. Expectations are high for this year's Cowboys team, too, but right now they're focused solely on improving their early season record to 20. The Broncos are also coming off a season-opening victory over the Chargers, 2217, this past Monday. What will be the difference Sunday at Sports Authority Field at Mile High? The Dallas Cowboys.com staff gives their gut feelings for Week 2. This matchup sure does feel familiar to last week's game against the Giants. This Denver defense has a ton of talent, starting with a scary pass rush. But for all the credit Von Miller gets, I think the secondary might be even better, thanks to AQIB Talib and Chris Harris Jr. across the ball. The Broncos' offense doesn't scare me so much. The offensive line doesn't look much better, especially since Ron Leary is unlikely to play, and Trevor Simeon is good but not great. I think this is another matchup of strength and strength, as the victor will ultimately be decided by who plays better between the Dallas offense and the Denver defense. I think the Cowboys will be able to run the ball well against this front, and I think they'll be able to hit enough passing plays to move the chains. With some offensive efficiency on their side, I think the Dallas defense will be able to disrupt Simeon and slow the Broncos' running backs. I think this is going to be another hard-fought, defensive game. But I ultimately think the Cowboys make a few more plays and sneak out of Denver with a win, something like 2017. Going to roll with Demarcus Lawrence and his ability to rush the passer here. Like the matchup with him and Menelik Watson after what he didnt do against Melvin Ingram and Joey Bozza. Can see Lawrence's quickness giving him problems inside or out. Look for Lawrence to keep him off balance with his rush and finish this game with 1.5 sacks in a Cowboys victory 2016. For the second straight game, the Cowboys' powerful offensive line is facing a formidable defensive front. The Broncos have dealt with multiple injuries there, however, defensive end Jared Crick is now reportedly set for back surgery, and the biggest factor for me is how well the Cowboys can execute the running game with Ezekiel Elliott. Denver did a nice job of containing Melvin Gordon in the opener, but the Cowboys have shown time after time since last season that they can control the pace with the run. If so, that would take pressure off Dark Prescott and the offensive tackles tasked with blocking Von Miller. I see the Cowboys running the ball effectively enough against the Broncos' 34 front and winning a close game decided late in the fourth quarter. While this is a tough place to play, I like the Cowboys' chances to run the ball effectively up in Denver. The best way to get fans not to chant incomplete is to run it down their throats over and over and not really have to pass much. I can see another big day for Zeke, totaling more than 150 all-purpose yards. I also see a big day for Beasley, maybe in the range of 78 catches and a touchdown. On defense, the Cowboys will get some pressure on the Broncos and I'm looking for Maliette Collins to get there with a sack and maybe two. Don't forget special teams. Either, Dan Bailey will make a career-long field goal up in the thin air. I'm saying the Cowboys give him a shot for a 58-yarder and he drills it. Overall, the Cowboys will win this game, 2614. Read.